Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to sort numbers, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this right, lexicographically. In other words, we're going to compare them as if they are strings. So this actually took me some time to really comprehend. So let's just go through a simple example. When you sort these numbers, you're going to get an output like so, where the smallest number is on the left and the biggest number is on the right, and it goes from least to greatest throughout. This is the natural ordering for numbers, and it's the way you would expect it to work. However, if you were to interpret this data as strings, it would be a little bit different, because it's going to look at each number and compare them as if they're just a character. So in that situation, 111 would come right before 12, because it's going to look at the ones, put them together, and then it's going to go to the next character and say, oh, this one comes first, next up we have 12. So it's a little bit of a weird ordering, but sometimes it's important and you might just want to get some practice on that. So if you want to see what the output should look like, one thing you could do is you could make all of these as strings and then compare them. If the data type of the data is string, it'll automatically do it lexicographically. So here is the code to do that. I just typed it out ahead of time because honestly, it takes forever to put all these little quotation marks. But pretty much I put every single piece of data in here as a string, exact same numbers. I sorted it and then I printed that data. So here's what it's going to look like. In this case, we're working with strings and I want to do it on numbers. But for now, we can at least understand the ordering. Going back to the example I used, we have 111 followed by 12 followed by 222 because it's first just looking at the first character. So all of the ones here are going to be grouped together, then all of the twos, then the threes, then the fours, and then the fives. If, there's, if there happens to be a conflict, such as with these two, the second character, we have a one and then a two, the one's going to come first. So that was probably the absolute worst explanation on how we're trying to sort this data. But essentially, we want to compare numbers as if they are strings. And doing this is very easy using the key parameter of sort. So we can say numbers.sort key equals, and we can convert it to a string by just saying stir. So this is the equivalent of converting a number to a string like so. So it's going to do that for all of the elements and use that for comparison. And it's going to affect the original list because we're using the dot sort method. So we can just print numbers like so and running it and we get the exact setup we want. But notice here, the actual data here is still numbers. We're not changing everything to a string. It's doing this for the comparison, but not for the actual data when we output it to the console. So that's how you do lexicographical sorting. In the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to take strings and sort them as numbers. So stay tuned for that.